we present NAP. Neural 3D Articulation Prior, a deep generative model that can synthesize 3D articulated object models. This supplementary video includes a quick introduction to our paper and visual results. Deep generative models have been widely studied and applied to 3D object shape generation, 3D structured part based generation, and 3D scene synthesis. However, there remains a lack of focus on capturing the distribution of articulated objects, a common object category for human and robot interaction. In this work, we make the first steps toward generating 3D articulated object models. We aim to generate both the part shape and kinematic motion structure of the articulated object, including what part the object has, how parts are configured, which parts are connected, and what are the joint parameters between them. In other words, we aim to generate a full URDF description of the object. As far as the authors know, there are no previous deep generative models that can synthesize articulated objects. This novel task is challenging because the articulated object data are irregular, with different numbers of parts and complex kinematic structures, with various joint motion constraints. In order to enable the efficient processing of diverse geometry and structures by a neural architecture, we propose a novel unifying articulation tree or graph parameterization to represent articulated objects. We assume articulated objects has a tree structure with screwed joints, which covers most real-world scenario. Taking an articulated object from the dataset, we use its zero joint states, that is, the closed door initial pose shown on the left, to find the global part configurations and represent each rigid part as a node on the articulated tree, with its pose, bounding box, and shape code. The shape code is from a pre trained shape autoencoder occupancy network. We then represent the articulation joint between rigid parts as an edge in the tree, with its chirality joint axis plucker coordinates in the global frame and the joint limits. We predefine a max number of rigid parts and pad the articulation tree to a complete graph so that each node and edge also has an indicator attribute. In summary, an irregular articulated object can be converted to a regular articulation graph attributes list. And any joint motion given the joint state as input can be easily recovered from this representation. Please see section 3.1 for more details. We learn a diffusion model on this articulation graph representation to capture the distribution of articulated objects. During forward diffusion, an articulated object's model is parameterized to an articulation tree and gradually diffuses to a random graph by iteratively adding noise. During generation, we revert the diffusion. Starting from a random graph, a graph attention network iteratively removes the noise and finally predicts a clean articulation graph. Finally, we apply post-processing to extract the articulated object model from the graph, which includes finding the tree structure via a minimum spanning tree algorithm, joint axis extraction, and part shape reconstruction or retrieval. More details are in section 3.2. In order to capture both the geometry and the motion structure whose distribution will affect each other, we design a graph attention and wasing network to gradually exchange and fuse information on the articulation graph, more details are in section 3.3. We benchmark this novel task by proposing a new distance between articulated objects, named instantiation distance, to adopt the widely used shape generation metrics, including MMD, COV, and 1NNA to articulated object generation. More details can be found in section 4.1. Now, we show our main results on unconditioned articulated object generation. The generated tree topology is shown on the left, where the edge color means blue prismatic, red revolute, and orange hybrid. The generated bounding boxes and joints are shown in the middle, and the retrieved part shapes are shown on the right. The learned prior can be directly used in several condition generation applications. We first show part to motion. Given known node attributes as conditions shown inside the left blue box, our model can complete diverse reasonable motion structures that cover the ambiguity of closed doors. Further, taking static over-segmented object models from PartNet, we can first group the fine-grained parts into rigid parts and hallucinate the possible motions. The first row shows an in-distribution object with diverse motion proposals, and the rest three rows show out-of-distribution examples. 
Interestingly, we find the learned articulation prior can be applied to out-of-distribution object categories and generate intriguing motion structures that adhere to some human recognizable logic, for example, the mug handle rotates around the body. We also demonstrate motion to part by using joint and graft topology as known conditions, our model proposes parts to fit in the motion structure. Finally, we show an application with hybrid joint and part conditions. Gapperts are human-labeled semantically generalizable parts, and one gappert has a part geometry plus a joint type. We use this combination as a condition and complete the whole articulated objects from one part. Thanks for watching. More details are in our paper and supplementary document.